But one thing that I want to start with, it's really important you know that the meeting tonight is happening because just today we finally put on our website this document I mentioned last week that summarizes our understanding of the current summit activity and the ongoing hazards. It took us a while longer to get it out there. We wanted to review it, make sure it was as good as we could make it, and also get a statement from the county at the very end. So this meeting really coincides with the release of that document, and not because we are any more or less concerned about what's going on at the volcano than we were a week ago. And the mayor called this meeting, just as you heard, because he wants to be sure that the volcano community is informed and aware. So in terms of what HVO can bring to the table tonight, as you've heard from Don Swanson for many years, Kilauea Volcano has a history of explosive eruptive behavior and cycles of caldera formation. What we're witnessing now is collapse, partial collapse of the summit in the stepwise process due to magma withdrawal into the East Rift Zone feeding the eruption, and it is uncertain how long this will continue. It is uncertain how large this collapse will be, and it is uncertain how violent activity could become associated with this collapse. Assuming a continued withdrawal of magma evacuation, excuse me, a continued magma evacuation from the summit, assuming that, we feel the most likely course of activity for the next two month time frame, and that's the time frame that we felt comfortable projecting out in our discussions and assessment, is for continued activity that we've been seeing. This periodic subsidence of the crater floor, moderate sized earthquakes, that you're all very familiar with that can be damaging, and small or no ash production. That is our assessment of the most likely activity to continue in the near term. We think that the duration of this activity and how long it will continue is related to the duration of the Lower East Drift Zone eruption, but there is some uncertainty in that as well. So very hazardous explosions related to the ongoing subsidence in the caldera are considered unlikely in the near term, but it does remain possible if activity should accelerate. And these explosions that we're talking about may or may not be preceded by a lot of warning. As time goes on, if the sub subsidence continues, it's possible that conditions will evolve such that the summit becomes even more hazardous and one possible, although very unlikely, outcome is that large-scale explosive activity associated with caldera collapse could occur, large-scale caldera collapse. This kind of activity could include the production of high lava fountains, something like you have seen of pictures and movies from Kilauea Iki, that sort of thing, associated fallout of ash and tephra. It could reach inhabited areas. And of more concern is that these kinds of large explosions related to large collapse could produce pyroclastic surges. This is a concept we've described a couple of times. These are potentially life-threatening phenomena that involve rapidly moving ash hurricanes that move away from the summit area. That kind of activity we suspect and we feel should be preceded by signals that we will recognize with our monitoring equipment, things like increased earthquakes, more severe earthquakes, constant earthquakes, or low-level explosive activity beginning. Signs that we should see with our monitoring and our observation ongoing. However, it's important to know that the time frames of that warning are really uncertain and they could be short. So that is why we're here tonight, for you to make connection with your Hawaii County Civil Defense and know what they are doing for you to provide warning and residents should heed those warnings and be prepared uh, to self-evacuate. So to sum up, it's really not known how long this activity can continue without any kind of change. The duration of the eruption in the Lower East Drift Zone is uncertain. As we said before, the historic eruptions there, the most recent ones have gone on between 36 and 88 days. And what are we now into the 60-something day of this eruption? And it's also important to know that those events are really not perfect analogs and just about every eruption has its own characteristics.